Hello, hello, my lovelies. Lesson 3-3 on subtracting integers. I am going to give you three methods of subtracting or simplifying out uh, subtraction expressions. Again, choose the one that makes the most sense to you. For adding integers, we actually use the number line distance method or the number line method. We're going to do something very similar, um, but only this time the first number... Uh, last time we said the first number is where we start and the second number is where we move. We're actually going to flip that. So the first number is where you move to and then the first number or second number, sorry, is where you start. So second number is where you start. So this looks kind of similar to addition only backwards um, or opposite, which makes sense because the opposite of addition is subtraction. So we're going to do that um, right here for this first example. Okay, so for this first example, I'm going to start at 15. So when I start over here at 15, I'm going to put a dot down at the number 15. And then I'm going to move to the number 4. So I'm going all the way to 4 um, from that number. So I'm going to go ahead and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so since I'm going this way, that's going to be a negative. And I went 11 spaces. So therefore, our answer here is going to be negative 11. So if you have a number line uh, close by, yes, you are going to have to create your own number line. Also, I can provide number lines to you. All you have to do is ask, um, but you are going to have to use them multiple times. I'm not going to make lots and lots and lots and lots of copies. But again, start with the second number and then move to that first number in order to use the number line distance method. Um, the next one, additive inverse. So when we're doing additive inverse, um, the phrase that you're going to hear a lot is add the opposite. So this is, uh, I found, the one that most people choose to use because it is pretty simple. But when I add the opposite, all you're doing is turning a subtraction problem into an addition problem. So for this example, I'm going to do a uh, number or letter B, I guess. So when I add the opposite, you always keep the first number. So negative 3 is going to remain the same. But now the minus sign is going to turn into an addition sign. So I'm going to add. But now the 12, since 12 is currently positive, I'm going to turn 12 into a negative because I'm, it's the opposite. So therefore, I have the problem negative 3 plus negative 12. So negative 3 plus negative 12. And now I just use my addition strategies in order to simplify this one out. So using my addition strategies, I know they're both negative. Um, so if I have a negative plus another negative, that's same signs, add and keep. So I'm going to add 3 and 12 to get 15. And then I'm going to keep that negative symbol. So our answer here is negative 15. Also, I just noticed as I was explaining A, B, C, and D um, that there are equal signs here. Go ahead and cross those off. We do not want those. Remember, these are all expressions, so please do that with me. If we do have an equal sign at any point in or time, um, that technically is an equation, which is no longer an expression, so keep that in mind. All right, the next one we are going to do is called the giant plus. So the giant plus is where the minus sign... Uh, joins with the negative. Joins with negative symbol. So for instance, I'm going to use a uh, letter C for the giant plus because if you take a look, you see that there is a minus and a negative right next to each other. So when that is the case, you can just use the giant plus sign or big fat plus is what I use with my kids. So I'm just going to connect these two negatives or minus signs and make a big plus sign. And notice that that um, parenthesis kind of creates that portion of the, I guess, plus sign. So now you just have the problem 18 plus 2. 18 plus 2, final answer. The answer is 20. Okay, so for this next one, letter D, again, you see the minus and the plus, or the minus and the negative right next to each other. So whenever that's the case, again, I always big plus sign. So I'm going to add those two things. So really, now I have negative 5 plus 13. So negative 5 plus 13, um, you can use that scoreboard method. You can use the number line if you would like. You start at negative 5 and you go up 13 spaces. Or again, I usually do the SAC or DSL. This instance is going to be DSL. So when I subtract out 13 minus 5, I get 8. And the larger is 13, which is positive. So our final answer is 8. 
Okay, the next one, letter E. Um, this one actually seems kind of silly. It's 28, and I'm taking away 14. So it's back to elementary school. Whenever that's the case, whenever you have a bigger number minus a smaller number, just subtract the two. Don't make it more difficult on yourself. When I subtract those two things out, I get 14. Okay, next one, letter F. Again, I see a minus and a negative right next to each other. Let's go ahead and make a big fat plus. So I'm going to make the big plus sign, negative 28 plus 13. This is going to be a DSL, so when I subtract those two things out, I end up with 15. And then since this number 28 is larger and it is negative, our final answer, negative 15. Hopefully we're feeling pretty good with um, our adding integers because that's essentially all we're doing with subtraction. We turn the subtraction into addition and we can add the opposite. Notice that I'm actually going to add the opposite on this one, or additive inverse. We haven't really done much with that. Um, so for additive inverse, I take this symbol and I turn that into addition. So remember, you keep the first number, 52. You turn that next one, add, and then the opposite. So what is the opposite of negative 30? Hopefully we know that that is just a positive 30. So then I'm just taking 52 plus 30 to get a final answer of 82. And notice that was the same thing as if I were to make a giant plus sign. So it, it all gives you the same kind of answer. But just remember that a big plus sign only works when you see two minus signs right next to each other. Okay, so adding the opposite. Um, again, on letter H, I am going to add the opposite so you keep the first number. You turn this symbol into addition, and then you make n the next number usually the opposite. But remember, there really is no opposite to zero. So in this case, I could have just kept it as negative 15 minus zero. Because whether or not I subtract zero or add zero, it's still just going to remain a negative 15. All right, so notice I actually only use the number line once down below. Um, it's just not as time efficient as the other ones are, um, I would say. So adding the opposite is usually the fan fave. Really the only other time is just the big plus sign or giant plus, big fat plus. Just go ahead and connect to those two things and add them up. Okay, the next thing you are going to do is you're trying a lot of them this time. So feel free if you'd like to use the number line up above or you can just um, solve these ones out using, using additive inverse or giant plus. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, so hopefully you took the time to pause this video so that you could try them all yourself. Um, I am gonna work them, but I'm gonna work them much faster. So negative nine I keep. The minus sign turns into addition because I wanna add the opposite. The opposite of a 10 is a negative 10. So now these are both the same, so same signs add and keep. When I add those two, I get 19. I keep the negative final answer. Um, number 16, I see two minus signs or two negatives or a minus and a negative right next to each other. I'm going to make a big plus. So now we have negative 16 plus three. Again, these are DSL, different signs. I subtract the two numbers. This one is larger. Final answer, negative. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of pause us right now. If you are listening to this, I want you to write the name of your social studies teacher down below. So at the very bottom, please write the name of your social studies teacher while I start to explain this next one. So if you're listening again, write the name of your social studies teacher at the bottom of this page. Next one, I take 6 plus 14 because I did a big fat plus. Final answer, 20. Notice, no equal signs. Ugh, get rid of them. Take away all those equals. Yuckies. We don't like them. So please go ahead and do this to kind of indicate again to you we don't need equal signs. Okay, so now, next one, I'm going to keep, add, opposite. So keep the first number, add, turn that subtraction into addition, and then change the positive 17 into a negative 17. Right here, this is a DSL. So I subtract them out, I get 6. This 17 is larger, so our final answer is negative. Next one, big fat plus. So I get negative 7 plus 7. These are opposites, which means that our final answer is a big fat goose egg. Next one, big fat plus. 14 plus 22 gives us a final answer of 36. No need for some negatives. Don't make it more difficult. G, back to elementary school. 5 minus 2 gives us trace. Last one, keep. Add. And then 25 becomes the opposite, so negative 25. This is a tough one. Um, there are a lot of people that think zero because you see a negative 25 and a 25, but with that minus sign, it completely changes the problem. So the answer to this one is actually negative 50. 
All right, hopefully you feel okay with 3-3 day one. This is just introducing the basic concepts or basic methods. Kind of keep these things in mind, especially the add the opposite or additive inverse. It's the same thing. Keep that opposite. And then also the giant big plus. Good luck on problems.